Mikey, I just wanted to ask you uh, what it was like to get an extended period with the taxi squad and what are some takeaways you got from that experience? It was, uh, it was good to just kind of get acclimated to what it's like to be up in the NHL. So I think that's what I'll take away from it the most. Um, yeah. Um, you know, you obviously joined the team. This is your first year with the team and, you know, people have talked about how it's a very close group and an inclusive one. Um, how did you feel like, how, how easy was it for you to get time in the swing of things here and feel part of the team? And um, what little things kind of went a long way for you in the early stretch here of joining the club from other guys? Yeah, not coming in, not knowing a lot of guys. Uh, you know, I got here a little early to kind of try to get acclimated to uh, the new country and and um, the new uh, the new city. So I think the first guy I met with was Declan, and you know, we were, we just became close friends right away, uh, and uh, that kind of continued to happen with uh, every guy on the team. So um, you know, I've just, it's 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 nice to be a part of something like that coming to a new city and just uh kind of inheriting some some really good friends um and uh it definitely helps with us on the ice as well um you know we got a, a lot of us live in the same area and hang out and uh do things together so that's um that plays a big role in a in a cold city like this one last question um what is it about mark morrison um you know he's someone that's supposed to be a player coach but what is it about his style that really in your opinion, resonates with this group and um, allows for him to connect with each of you and kind of get his message through. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't speak for uh, everyone, but for me, um, Mark Morrison, um, you know, he's he's very development mind uh, oriented. So he's he's uh, you know he comes to me with uh, one or two or three points before a game that uh, he wants me specifically to just think about out there and and try to work on. And uh, when he does that, that's such a, that's um, usually such a nice thing for me just to have a couple po key points to focus on that are usually, um, uh, you know, oriented towards the systems that we play. And um, it really just helps me play my game. Thanks, Mikey. Yeah. We'll go next to Mike Sawatsky from Winnipeg Free Press. Hey, Mikey, has, has this team surprised you any? Um, I mean, I, I could just, I can, I, like, early in the season, you know, we're doing so well right now, and uh, every a new guy stepping up. Um, you know, Eagles had a few chances recently to really step up, and he's had maybe three or four games where I don't think we win without him um, recently. Other guys like Poli and Noj. Uh, so at this point, there's really no surprises. Someone's going to step up. The offense is created by a new guy every night, a new line every night. And um, but like early on in the season, I could just see it kind of working out this way, like just uh, from practices and the games, like I just kind of could understand that we um, we had that type of group where someone new could step up. So uh, I wouldn't say I'm too surprised, but uh, there's a long ways to go here the rest of the season. So um, we, we're obviously going to need our um, you know leadership group to step up and also win us some games as well as having a, you know other guys step in all the time and, and help us. Is there some magic involved in that? I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, the coaching staff does a really good job of, um, you know, balancing being hard on us and making sure that we're stick to our systems, but also making sure that we're out there having fun and just enjoying it. So, um, you know, unless like having fun is uh, and just enjoying going out there to play games, enjoying the warm up, enjoying every part of the game, unless that's magic, then um, no, I don't really think so. Gotcha. Thank you. And we'll wrap things up with Joey Slattery from CTV. Hey, Mikey, thanks for doing this. Uh, my first question for you is how important is the mindset going into, uh, you know, a taxi squad situation? Because we do hear, you know, it is tough when you're not playing games, uh, but you are getting that NHL experience, as you said. So how important is the mindset and what were the biggest differences you noticed from, you know, practicing and playing at the AHL level to the NHL level? Yeah, I think my mindset doesn't change from when I go from the AHL to uh, the taxi squad and uh, even getting a chance on the on the NHL roster as a scratch one game. My mindset's always to, you know, you get the schedule for the next day, you wake up, you go, you go to work, you, you try to be professional every morning, um, be the best person I can be on and off the ice and just do my work and then a little extra. 
So um, that's kind of my mindset when I'm out there. I try to be positive and um, so that and have fun so that I'm not gripping my stick in the practices. And, um, you know, definitely I didn't feel like myself the first couple practices. But uh, as I kind of like just relaxed a bit into it, I was able to have have some fun and, um, you know, ultimately not getting a game is tough, but uh, just I think I did improve on my game a lot being up there.